हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नम्रता मेहता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ बीआरए ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु केपीओ डॉट कॉम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स लेट्स बिगिन विद ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग object oriented programming is a design philosophy let us understand what object oriented programming is object pro object oriented programming can be defined as if a program is so if a problem is solved in terms of objects and classes then it is termed as object oriented programming language class four terms usually used in object oriented programming languages are first is class class provides a definition for an object or we can say a class is a collection of object that have similar characteristics now the properties properties are the characteristics or attributes of an object next is methods methods are operations performed on objects now we are going to look at on various features of object oriented programming language features main features of object oriented programming languages are abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism next abstraction abstraction can be defined as when a class is given to the user he is familiar only with the abstract view of that class it is called abstraction internal and implementation details are hidden from the user next encapsulation is the process of pining the function and encapsulation is the process of pining variables and functions together to form a class polymorphism polymorphism aapki slide kuch aur hai wo kuch inheritance can be defined as when a class is derived from another class it is called inheritance inheritance in inheritance we have two classes one is derived class and another one is base class derived class can be termed as super class or and or parent class whereas the derived class can be termed as child class or sub class here you can see in the diagram we have one class named a and another class named b class b is derived from class a here a is the base class and b is the derived class polymorphism polymorphism means poly consists of two polymorphism word consists of two letter two words one is poly and another one is morph poly means many and morph means forms it means one name polymorphism can be defined as one name many forms here we are given here we are given different objects named circle rectangle and square and if we want to calculate or we want to find out the area of these objects then we have given the we have mentioned one function named area the name of the function is same whereas the working will be altogether different of these objects when the message is same message is passed to different objects the object behaves differently different objects behave differently this is called polymorphism thank you thank you thank you and thank you for watching this video lecture for more video lectures or study materials on various topics please log on to www.gurukpo.com thank you